first I gotta gotta congratulate Hallie and Chloe for you. Y'all had like a gold celebration for your gold album, gold album or something. So there's so many musicians involved with this with Diggy and, and Joey Badass and, and Sweetie and, and Trevor. I mean, I just I just wanna congratulate y'all because y'all been doing it on the virtual and it seems like you guys have made it in this world where everybody's trying to figure it out and be able to perform. So congratulations to you guys. How does it Thank feel to so be much. on this? You're welcome. How does it feel to be on this show that's where you have, you know, such a young uh, producer like Yara and, and all these creative forces um, coming together to tell a story that I feel like is so close to, I'm not your generation, but I feel like it's so close to your generation. I feel like everybody that's your age range gets this show in a, in a different way. How does it feel like represent like that? I'll start with you, uh, Presley. To represent a show like this? Yeah. Um, I mean, listen, I'm grateful to be on the show. My character's 10 years younger. So as someone older playing these, this character and actually seeing everyone evolve has been such an eye opener for me because I grew up in a generation where you don't talk about religion, politics or money. And I'm so glad that that changed a bit. So um, it's been uh, really nice for me to find my own voice in, in, in playing Anna and seeing everyone else find their voice. And honestly, like, uh, you know, Chloe said earlier, like, oh, you're mature than us. I'm like, no, you guys are more mature. I'm just older. And, you know, I admire my castmates so much because they are so smart. You guys are so smart. And you guys really, you know, you practice what you preach, you talk about it and you do it. And everything that you guys are doing within the show and outside of the show, it's just been so inspiring and it lit a fire under my own little butt. So um, I want to thank you all for that. It's been really, really great. Oh, love you, Francia. And, and Chloe and Holly, with you, you guys being student athletes, um, and and also with Zoe's character, like going off and work and working professionally, I know you guys probably all did this during your career. Right now, you had to had to do your education and work. Do you feel like having that outside force of uh, outside responsibility kind of focuses people even a little bit more than just being uh, a student, no matter how smart they are, just having like a responsibility, whether it be track or you know, trying to do a career? Absolutely. You know, I definitely feel like that is super beneficial. I mean, especially for my character, Sky, track is what gets her fire going. It motivates her. And, you know, you've seen her kind of rise and fall from her injury and trying to come back. And sometimes you really do need that focus and motivation from something else and that outlet to help you get out all of your anger and emotions and um, you know, I love to run personally, and I, I hold in a lot of like my feelings. And when I'm angry, I just I find that I just love to run and just let it all go. So yeah, there's definitely um, beautiful benefits to having an outlet like that, I feel. Mm -hmm. Jordan, this is, I mean, this, I, I, I watch IMDB, and it's, it seems like this is a, a big jump off of your career. You've done a couple of things, but this would be probably a thing where they say, you know, first known for this this big show, how does it feel to be a, and you know, to start from a show with so many um, icons from your generation that people kind of like look up to it just, it feels like a great starting point for me on the outside looking in, but how does it feel for you to be in grownish, you know? It's amazing. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, we have all of these, um, you know, you could say established in the industry uh, individuals and stuff like that. But what I really took from it is when uh, you can't, when you're when you're on you're on the other side, right? And you don't know someone. You have this image of what they might be, and when you're on set, what I learned and what I tell people: look, everyone's just a person, right? And yeah. you know, you get on set and you do your thing. You know, I was hired to do a job, and I bring my confidence, and I do that. I put it on the mm -hmm. table, and everyone is just is just a human. So what I kind of take from it is not to necessarily pedestal people, and to understand that everyone is human. Yep. And Diggy, when you, I mean, when you started at uh, Ron's house and everything else, I thought it was just like a reality show. I didn't know you was about to have a career in acting. I know you were doing music, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's just like, now that you, I mean, cause you, you're definitely a solid actor on this. Like now that you're doing this, is this something we're gonna expect to see you in a lot more um, different type of uh, stuff acting? Is this where your career is going or you're gonna balance that in music as you go along as Chloe and Hallie has been doing? Uh, de definitely a balance, man. And uh, from this show and, and doing work on this show, I I've come to love acting so, so much and, you know, began working with a coach and just respecting the craft. And, you know, like everyone was, you know, saying, just having a respect 
for everyone that you're around and, and learning you know, from these people like Francia, you know, who's, who's been working for so long or, or Yara and just, you know, uh, having so much respect for uh, people's approach and, and what they're, they're doing on screen. So yeah, more for sure. Well, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to see where this show goes. I know it's been so much talk about COVID and everything else. And I know you guys were able to kind of wrap before that, but I, I, I'm curious to see if next season will touch on college students that's dealing with the pandemic now and doing so much zoom and everything else or whatever but wherever you guys are at just be safe can't wait till we can all, all be in the same room and not be as worried as we are today about the pandemic so th thanks for the time and uh take care everybody thanks, thank you